Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be a um, little tutorial on how to put together the um, the Stoily handbag from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, this is the first one I put together, and I just thought it might be <clears throat> useful for some uh, for some of you to um, have a little tutorial on how to put it together. So it's just this um, part down here. It doesn't come with a a piece here for the for it to make a handle out of um but i just cut a piece of paper and put it in there but you could do you know yarn or ribbon chain whatever but um anyway so i'll show you how to put it together real quick so i have two pieces of this there's this is the base die okay and it's this shape and you cut this out twice so here's two of them okay so if you have um uh, you know, a design or anything, make sure you got the right directions and that kind of stuff, okay? <clears throat> so, I cut two of these. I folded all of the little score marks, okay, on all the different edges. Everything's been folded. Now, there's two right up here at this top. This kind of like, this just kind of like folds in. So, um, this tab is going to attach to this side. Um, so, these two things here just kind of gonna fold in a little bit when you put it together so that's how that goes <clears throat> so I'm gonna put some glue and I'm using barely arts glue you could use whatever you want if you want to use tape or hot glue or whatever I am just gonna use barely arts okay and so I'm gonna line up my line right here where I folded I'm just gonna lay it flat this is the easiest way I found lay it flat line this up your other piece line it up so that your other lines match up okay and then just kind of um, you know press it down so it stays okay so there's the one side now what we're gonna do with the other side <clears throat> oh let's see I need to finish folding this one down I folded the one and not the other so let me just tuck these down where the where the um, score marks are. Okay, this is going to fold down. Okay, this is going to fold down, and then these two are just going to kind of bend in a little bit where that line is. You don't bend in a lot, so you just kind of just kind of get like that. Okay, so there's my folds again. Okay, now what I'm going to do, what the easiest way I've ever found to make these, um, rather than trying to keep it all sh in a shape and to keep it together as, it, as you're trying to, you know, fold it and stuff, fold this, um, fold this in like this, okay? And let's attach some glue to these tabs again. Okay, now rather than trying to hold it like this in shape and that kind of stuff as you're, you know, folding and trying to keep it all right, <clears throat> you should be able to just fold this over, okay, and it will line up just perfectly. And you don't have to keep fiddling with it and holding it together and, and it losing its shape and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Just, just line it all up and it, it will match up perfectly, okay? Just kind of furnish it in a little bit, okay? And then there you have your box, okay? So you don't have to fiddle with it trying to keep it together as you're trying to hold it in shape and stuff, okay? That's the easiest way I've ever found to do it. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, these are the, this is the bottom, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold these in, okay? Just one on top of the other. And I don't think it really matters which one's which. They're pretty much the same size, so. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on these two. Okay, and then I'm just going to pick one and, um, and fold the one in. Okay, make sure I have it lined up even down there. Just kind of furnish it a little bit to make it stay. Okay, and then I'm going to, it's not staying real well yet, so but I'm not holding the pressure on it, but let me go ahead and get the other 
glue on the other side. And that way I can have it all being glued down together at the same time. Okay, I'll just make sure it's all lined up so you're in square and all that. Okay, I'll just kind of burnish it in a little bit. Okay, and you can um, tip it upside down and just, you know, take some kind of tool or something or a pen or whatever and stick inside to, you know, help burnish it down there on the bottom. Okay, so then there's your box. <clears throat> okay, um, the next piece that's going to go on, this is the, um, you know, the little flat part that comes down. Okay. Um, oh, and I forgot to tell you to cut off cut off one of these, but I think what I'm going to do this time, I'm just going to, because you don't need the two, because it only lines up to the one, I'm just going to fold one in and glue it down. <clears throat> on my first one, I didn't do it until after, I didn't realize I needed to cut it off until after I'd already glued it, and then when I went to cut it, I didn't cut it very straight, so um, I might as well just, it's not going to hurt anything to just put it down inside there. Give it a little bit of extra strength right there. Okay. And then now I will take this, and this has a kind of a little score mark right there, as you can see. Okay. I'm just going to kind of fold that. And then this is going to go right here on top. Okay. I'm just going to glue that down. Okay. I should have refilled my glue bottle before I started. It's down to the bottom, so I gotta kinda work it up. <laughs> or I should have it in one of my glue stands, so it's already right there. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm just gonna line this up and put it on. Oops, sorry, I'm going out of frame there. Okay, so just push this down till we get our little holes lined up. Okay, and then just kinda again, finish it. You can flip it over and that way you can get it flat to kind of burnish it in good. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm sure you kind of, these, it's not made to fold all the way in, but it just kind of made to kind of tuck in just a little bit. Okay, so that's where these little edges would just be kind of folding in a little bit. So you just kind of help it along a little bit. So that when you fold it over, it folds in somewhat, okay? And then as you do that, you're going to line that up to where it will, this folded part will even up with this, with this line right here, okay? And then you can, um, you can use a snap or some Velcro or a magnet or whatever it is you want to use to, um, you know, to fold it um, down, or you could, um, you know, tie it together with string, you know, whatever you wanted to do, however you wanted to do it. But that is the basic box right there, okay? Now the rest of the pieces are layering pieces. Okay, so let's go ahead and layer it. Okay, so you need two of this square one, okay? It's got these cute little heart cut out details in the in these two um, you know in opposite corners sorry Sk skittles is um, skittles is being a little noisy right now of course she's always noisy but <laughs> so sorry if you're hearing all that squawking and shattering okay so I'm just gonna add some more liquid glue make sure when I first picked it up, I had it kind of upside down like that. I want to make sure I have my direction going the way I want it. And then I'm just going to center it in here. And you can tell that this piece is a layering piece on your dies because most of Erica's dies that have layering pieces have, are stitched. So they have the little stitch deal, detail around. So all you're going to do when you go to put it on is just, um, you know, just center it inside of the area that you're layering. Okay. 
Okay, I just turned it upside down a little bit to get it flat so I could push on it harder. Okay. So there's the front. Okay, we have another one for the back. So the same thing. get this on and we're just gonna kind of center it in there so that we have a little bit of border around all the four sides okay press it down a little bit and turn it upside down get it flat on the table so I can get it furnished in a little bit okay so now we have our front and our back Okay, it comes with this piece that is meant to layer right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and layer that one there. And then you're just gonna center this again so it has a little border on all the sides. Okay, get it where you want and then I'm going to finish it down in place. Sorry, I see areas that are popping up, so I'm just going to kind of finish them in a little bit more. Okay, so there is um, this like doily edge part. Okay, and then it comes with a layering piece for this right here. So this. You're just going to layer right on top of there. So again, just kind of give it some border. Okay. This is a really quick and easy um, little handbag die. Very handy. Okay. So again, just kind of centering it. I'm going to center it around the holes also. Got a little ski wampus there. It's beauty of liquid glue. I can still have time to move it a little bit. Okay. Alright. Press it down from the inside again. Get it snug. Okay, so there's that. Okay, now it has a um, layering piece for right here. That's so you need two of these, these two little squares right here. Okay. This makes such a cute a little bag. And you could put all kinds of stuff in it. Cute to put stuff in to send to a, um, uh, you know, like for a swap and stuff. You can put stuff in it, fill it up with goodies, that kind of stuff. Ahead and turn it over and do the other edge. Okay, just gonna line that up again. Center it, I guess, is what I meant to say. So just center it right there inside the. So it has a little pink border all around. The board, the base piece I use the pink, the plain pink. It's just regular cardstock. It's not 110. Um, I usually do use 110 on most of my, um, you know, boxes and bags and that kind of stuff, just to give it sturdiness. Um, but I didn't feel like I wanted that um, stiff, I guess, on this. And so, because of how it has to bend in a little bit, so I wanted it to be able to, you know, give a little bit. Okay. All right. And then now we have these little pieces. They fit right here. Okay. So now we will just attach those real quick. Okay. 
And then again, you're just gonna place it in that, kind of centered in that area where it's supposed to go. Okay, you can kind of push your little fold lines to see, make sure you got it kind of lined up in between the two areas there. Okay, and then press down. And then the same thing over here. So here's my other little piece. Okay, so that again is going to go up here in this little triangle area. Okay, again, make sure I have it in between those two areas that kind of bend in a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now you're ready to. Um, you could, um, you know, uh, tie, take a piece of ribbon and, you know, tie it inside. Um, you can do like I did in this one. I just cut a piece of paper and attached it with brads. Um, you could attach some chains, some uh, some pearls, any kind of cute little little thing. Um, what I also did on this one is I decided to I cut an extra one of this too, just to kind of line the inside a little bit, at least the top part of the flat, you know, like the flat part. So I did cut two of these so I could do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that in here just because I already cut it anyway. Okay. It gives it a nice finished look inside there. Too. Now I did um, use one of these on the inside of this one just because I wanted it to um, I wanted to um, cover up where I this on this one I use brads up here this little tiny brads in those holes so I didn't want the brad pieces you know on the inside showing through to catch on stuff so I did cut another one of these on this one and um, layered it up there just so it would cover that area but I didn't you know layer up this top on this one. So I, I think it looks better to go ahead and layer it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm not sure what kind of um, um, closure I'm going to do on this one. I hadn't planned, planned ahead, but um, uh, it, just because I wanted to show you just how the die was, you know, just like without adding anything to it okay but easily 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 can have um, those things see that looks a lot more finished off and so then it's just like on the inside which I could go ahead and cover all that if I want to but I usually don't do all that on the insides um, I, I, I don't mind doing it on here on the top part that's gonna you know show but look how cute that is so if you don't put um, you know, if you don't put end up putting a handle or something, you know, it could just be, be more, you know, kind of like a like a clutch purse, you know, like a handbag, I guess is what it's like it's named, you know. And you could just with these holes here, you could just um, I could just put some bags in there for decoration or just cover them up with flowers or, you know, a strip of something if I didn't want to have, you know, something, something holding it together. So I'll probably end up putting a piece of lace or something up through there. Or ribbon something like that so anyway that turns out super cute so see if you can see how it's just kind of um, folded in a little bit there okay so that's all that does is just kind of fold in and you just you're just kind of sorry you're just kind of you know folding it under like that and then folding the flap down on top of it so cute so see how easy that goes together so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you and, um, you know, so you could, um, sometimes it's just easy to have a, a little tutorial to follow when you get the die sets out. Sometimes you think, oh, what, what, <laughs> I don't know where all these go. Um, even when there's not very many pieces, sometimes you're like, you know, wondering. So I just thought I'd show you that. And then plus the tips on, um, you know, when you're putting it together, rather than trying to fiddle with it, trying to keep your box all square as you're trying to glue piece pieces together. 
um, if you just lay it flat and fold it over onto where the flaps that it's supposed to um, adhere to, that makes it super easy and it makes things come out straight. And yeah, that's a very helpful tip that I that I found super helpful. So anyway, um, let me know if you have any questions or if you have any comments, leave it down below. Um, give me a thumbs up and check out Scrap Diva's um, website. I'll have her listed um, below um, along with the dies and my discount code which is polka10 that's p-o-l-k-a 10 to get 10 percent off of your um of your whole order and then i'll also um link my affiliate links so that you could um use those to um that gives me a little a uh, little tiny share of the of the of the profit um you know for the die set so Anyway, it helps helps me to be able to buy stuff to you know to make these things out of and you know um, that kind of thing. So I do appreciate it. anybody that uses it. it. Doesn't cost you anything more. So anyway, if you wouldn't mind doing that, that would be great. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And then I will be back soon with another project. Thanks, guys. Bye.